going to be a packed house here tonight. Montrose Christian versus the top seed Oak Hill Academy here on Nation's Capital. There you go, Oak Hill. It could be a showdown to remember. Welcome inside the gymnasium as we get set for a fantastic basketball game. Montrose Christian versus Oak Hill Academy. We'll take a look at our USA Today standings. And there is Oak Hill atop the list with Montrose Christian at number 12. They were the preseason number one. Hello everybody, Justin Kutcher alongside David Kaplan. And David, this is going to be a ton of fun. A sellout crowd, standing room only, even courtside seats. Yeah, courtside seats to watch some of the best high school talent anywhere in America. You'll see the best guard, maybe the best multi-talented guy. Sit back, folks. It's going to be awesome. Well, that best guard you're talking about, he goes by the name of Taiwan Lawson for Oak Hill Academy. Right, he's headed to North Carolina. He's the quickest guy in the country. He's got great range on his jump shot. A tremendous passer. Unbelievably relentless as a defender. He is, in short, the best guard in the country, bar none. Well, he is the best guard in the country, bar none. We've got one of the best big men in the country. Maybe not Greg Oden, but, well, his name is Kevin Durant. Well, Kevin Durant can play all five spots. He can handle, he can pass, he can knock down the three, and he leads the break like Magic Johnson. Look at that pass. Watch him go to the rim and finish with authority. And when he has to, he'll come up with a big block shot as well. KD, Kevin Durant, one of the nation's best. Well, this should be a lot of fun here tonight in our nation's capital. The number one team, Oak Hill, going for a national championship against Montrose Christian, next on the A-list. Welcome back to the Frank R. Williams Activity Center, number 12, Montrose Christian versus the top-seeded Oak Hill Academy Warriors. Time now for tonight's starting lineups. First for Montrose Christian, Bowie, Ito, and Vasquez at the guards. Durant and Thomas at the forwards. They are coached by Stu Vetter. For Oak Hill Academy, in the backcourt, well, they are led by their senior member, Ty Lawson, then Smith and Wright in the front court, Allen and Beasley. They are coached by Steve Smith. Time now for today's keys to the game. And first, we'll start off with Montrose Christian. Well, guards have got to step up. They've got to handle Ty Lawson's relentless pace, dictate the tempo, run your secondary break attack the boards, and find guys that box out. For Oak Hill Academy, force the tempo. Let Ty Lawson go as quick as he can. Double Durant at all times. Expose Montrose Christian's backcourt. And Ty's got to be the man. All right, David, we are set for tip-off. It's going to be Kevin Durant going up against Beasley, and it's won by Oak Hill. They're going to pull it out and reset. There is Ty Lawson, and that one's going to skip off the hand of Jeff Allen. A good look by Lawson. Yeah, he did. He made the quick pass, but the lighting in here is not great. You may not be able to tell as much at home, and it's hard to catch that ball coming off, especially, you know, those dark jerseys. The ball comes in this little bit darker setting, and he just went off his hand. 
Again, Oak Hill wants to push the tempo in this game. They're going to try to put some full court pressure. Kevin Durant, six foot ten, plays a small forward, a baseline jumper. That one is no good. And it's pulled down by Lawson, who can sky. There he goes, pushing the tempo. He gets bumped. We're going to have a foul on the floor. Well, the speed that he shows you in the open court, you can't appreciate it just watching. I mean, until you come out here and you see this young man up close. He's got big, strong shoulders, really knows how to play the game, and he has a second and a third gear that are just out of sight dynamite. The foul was called on Tasha Ito, and there is Lawson again. His jumper is no good, gets his own rebound. Allen gets bumped, count it, and the foul. Yep, gets the hoop and the harm. Jeff Allen headed to Virginia Tech is one of those glue guys that every coach wants to have. A guy who gets the tough rebound, comes up with the big steal, gets the stick back and can take the hit. And he showed you right there, strength and power, takes the hit, you can hear the skin slap air, and he finished it. His free throw is good, he's 67% on the season. Three nothing, Oak Hill. There they go again with a full court press. Durant, his three attempt, that one is good. Steve Smith immediately up says, what are you doing leaving him open? We talked in the keys, you gotta know where Kevin Durant is at all times. Ty Lawson directing traffic again, looks down low to Beasley. The left hand jumper is good from the baseline. And now it's five to three, and that guy right there, Beasley, is someone to really watch out for. Yeah, top three players in the country next year. He's only a junior, and he has already committed to UNC Charlotte. Bobby Lutz got a great one. Durant slips as he tries to put it on the floor. Vasquez picks up a loose ball. Vasquez, a very good ball handler. Spin it to fall. Boy, does a nice job. He was looking for Durant on a spot up. He was covered. He said, okay, I'll take you to the hole myself, and really did a nice job finishing. We've got some problem down the baseline. We've got a foul down there, yeah. away from the ball. Little extracurricular activity. You saw some guys pushing and shoving a bit on the block. The officials are going to call this one very close. And that foul was called on Ben Thomas, his first. I mean, two tremendous coaches, Stu Vetter, Steve Smith. I don't know if you could find two guys with more victories combined coaching against one another. I think they're going to get Jeff Allen. A lot of action away from the ball so far. They're going to get Jeff Allen for a shove down low. Steve Smith says, what are you talking about? My guy's just posted. When you get a guy like Jeff Allen, who's six foot six, going up against Tashi Ito, who's listed at six feet and about 170, you throw an arm, he may go down. Tasha Ito is a very heady player. A lot of coaches, Paul B. and Cardi of Wright State and his assistant John Fitzpatrick flew in just to see Tasha Ito. They're sitting on the baseline. Paul, a long time assistant at Boston College, Ohio State, now the head man at Wright State. And Tasha Ito, a three-year starter for the Mustangs. A guy who came to Montrose Christian in eighth grade. Lawson thought about going down low. A nice pass. To Nolan Smith, who used the glass. Son of Derek Smith, who was a great player at Louisville. And he's already committed to Duke. Just a junior, Derek Smith. Sorry, Nolan Smith. Tremendous talent. There's the explosiveness by Kevin Durant as he gets bumped going up for the layup. That's Beasley's first foul. And Durant will go to the line for two shots. See, Beasley's more of a power player. He's not... The guy that steps out on the floor and shoots a lot of threes. He's a great, great talent. But he is going to have his hands full today. He's going to have to get down, get in the defensive position, and really move his feet to handle Kevin Durant. They're going to have to run guards at him to try and keep him from getting the ball. Do you see Oak Hill maybe going zone at some point against Durant, or you just think they're going to D up with Beasley? I think you just you verbally pass him along. You play a lot of man-to-man, -man, but you always have a second guy willing to run a double. If he gets it in the block, you've got to trap the post. Durant one for two at the line, 82% on the season. A 7-6 lead. The top ranked Oak Hill, 40 and 0. No whistle as two friends get tied up right there. Ty Lawson, Kevin Durant, 
They are best friends. I spoke yesterday with Coach Steve Smith, and he said it's real tough for those two guys to go up against each other. They're that close. Beasley wrestling down low with Durant. A smart play right there by Beasley going at Durant. And if they get Durant in foul trouble, that spells a lot of trouble for Montrose. Right. Kevin Durant cannot get in foul trouble. There's more depth on the Oak Hill roster. For Montrose Christian, they've got a great team, but they are not as deep in Division I players. Here is Beasley going up strong, gets his own rebound. This is a guy who can jump out of the gym. Yep, we're going to have another foul on Montrose Christian, and I think they're going to get Terrell Vincent. Vincent, a 6'6 freshman, a freshman playing in a game of this magnitude. That's big time. You know, David, we were talking about this. When you look at this roster, you see juniors, seniors, some sophomores, some freshmen. You're used to seeing that in college, but in high school, that means he's about 14 years old. That's correct, and it's, it's unbelievable to think, you know, let alone make the varsity at this level, but to be playing and playing effectively. And you've got a lane violation, and they are going to reshoot this again. You've got a violation on Gravis Vasquez. You, you can't make that mistake. Can't give away opportunities to score. Michael Beasley, the lefty, six foot nine, just handing him a point. And against a team that's 40 and 0, you really can't afford to do it. Nice crossover dribble by Ito. But there's Lawson staying right with him. Looked like he may have dragged his foot on that one. No call. I think the officials are understanding that this is a very slick floor. I walked out on it earlier, and he just slid. And alley oop attempts. Goes over the head of Beasley. Now watch some really good defense. I mean, defense is what's going to win this game. There's a lot of great players. Get it out of there. Michael Beasley says, I don't think so. Durant looking outside for Ito. That pass stolen by Beasley. He gets bumped. And that's going to be number two on Vincent. That's the sixth team foul already from Montrose Christian. See, when you enter the post, you've got to enter it from the wing. You can't enter it. That's a tough angle. He's got to take it down and then enter the ball. Enter off the dribble rather than you have a guy half man around. There was no lane to get the ball in there. Nine to six here in the first quarter. Oak Hill on top of Montrose Christian. Looking down low again to Beasley. That ball gets stripped, out of bounds, going to be Oak Hill ball. But you can't let the ball get caught that close to the basket. It's a Dunkirk. Katie, bar the door. You let Beasley catch the ball three feet from the basket, you got big troubles all night long. Nolan Smith gets it to Lawson. Beasley wants for it up high. We're going to have an offensive foul. They're going to get Beasley on a shove as he pushed off trying to get some position inside on Terrell Vincent. And that's his second foul. Beasley has two. Okay, let's take a look at it. Let's see. Watch in the lower left. That's questionable. Questionable. A ticky-tack foul right there for Michael Beasley, and that is costly. Again, good defensive pressure from Lawson. Durant gets the ball knocked as he goes up. The shot rims out and the rebound pulled down by Smith. Lawson trying to push the tempo a little bit. Pulls up from three. And that was good. I mean, it's ring it up. The guy's automatic. He is just a tremendous player. Reminds me a lot of Raymond Felton, who was a great player at North Carolina. Just a wonderful talent. About Raymond Felton, of course, Ty Lawson going to North Carolina, like Raymond Felton, and that's going to be another foul. Well, you, you've got to stop the ball here. You've got to be out on the floor, picking him up immediately. You can't give him the chance. Watch him just pull up. Nobody gets up. Tashi Ito, you got to get a hand up immediately. Get into him, and you've got to talk. Give me some help. You can't let him spot up like that. Landon Milborn and Albert Jackson have both checked into the game for Oak Hill. The last foul is on Jeff Allen. Nice dish right there by Bowie. And the finish 
Ryan Vincent, real nice pass though. Bowie did a really good job at knowing that line of truth and making a great pass. A little shake and bake right there by Lawson. Couldn't finish and wide open as fast as Bowie for the plus. And he finished with a authority. Wow! Crowd is now into it. It took about five minutes for this crowd to get on its feet, but it is now on its feet. Up top, no point for three, no good. Rebound by Vasquez. That's not the shot you want there. You want to get a touch for one of your big guys. Edo pushing up. Durant for three from the corner. That one's no good. Bowie a weak side rebound. Oh, and the follow. Wow. Are we in an NBA game? I mean, we're seeing some athleticism, baby. This is awesome. And you got to think it means something extra special for Kevin Durant, who transferred from Oak Hill to Montrose Christian for his senior year. We're going to get a hold on Bowie. Tie game 12-12 thanks to a 6-0 run by Montrose Christian. Now watch this. There's the miss, but Durant never quits playing. He stays with it, and there he finishes. See, great players play all the time. It's not when I get the ball in my hands, or when I get a shot opportunity, or when I make a great pass, I could show both. He never quit the play. He missed it, he crashed the glass, and he finished. Nolan Smith makes the first in the one and one. Kevin Durant, you look at his arms, looks like he has a wingspan of about nine feet. Smith makes both of them, and now it's a 14-12 game. It's a great test for Tashi Ito to go up against, I mean, a pro, a great, great player. You can handle him, you can play at most colleges. Bowie drives the baseline. Vincent gets a shot off, and the rebound is yanked down by Albert Jackson. Albert Jackson, another big-time player in Georgia. Nice finish by Anthony Wright. And he is headed to Michigan. I mean, it's one after another. This is your typical high school team, right? Oh, absolutely. 40 and 0. I mean, Montrose Christian, you can't sneeze at them either. There's Vasquez is going to Maryland. He misses the layup. That's a tough shot to complete. Ty Lawson pushes it up, leaves it off. Shot by Smith is no good, and Durant pulls it down. And now he's going to show off his ball handling skills. Vasquez for three. Back iron. Durant again gets the rebound down low. Has the ball stripped. Smith leaves it for Lawson. Goes back up. And one. by Edo and one. Boy, I'll tell you what. Oak Hill showing me something. They took the punch after the tip dunk by Kevin Durant. And watch touch passing. This is how you run a break. This is textbook how you run a break. I mean, outstanding, unselfish play. Lawson can't get the roll. We'll get a chance to watch that in a minute. That was outstanding passing. The foul was on Bowie, his second. Of course, that's Adrian Bowie. Kevin Durant running things from the top of the key. Shield the defender and gets it off the glass. You see that he plays a lot like a small forward big guard at six foot ten. I mean he can do it all. Now I did Greg Oden's game, who's the number one player in America from Indianapolis Lawrence North. No one for three. That's good. Greg Oden is the most dominant high school player I've seen in a long, long time. Kevin Durant doesn't match up with him physically. Greg doesn't step out of the floor like Durant can. Greg is the most physically dominant player I've seen probably in 20 years. And that's saying something considering LeBron James came straight out of high school in the NBA a couple years ago, and look what he's done. A pull-up jumper from Durant, good. See, that's what Kevin can do in Greg Oden. Ten points in the first quarter for Kevin Durant. 21 to 16, Oak Hill on top of Montrose Christian.
Hill leads Montrose Christian 21-16 as we get set to start the second quarter. And really in the first quarter, it was the Kevin Durant show. Ten points and a fantastic follow dunk. Oh, that tip dunk was unbelievable. But that got the crowd going and give a lot of credit to Oak Hill. They took that punch and that surge of emotion in a tie game and then all of a sudden flex their muscles and has a five-point lead. Troy Brewer has come into the ball game for Montrose Christian. In the post, Durant gets blocked. Turn around, jumper is good. See, he is a multi-talented player. I talked to Stu Vetter, and he said, you know, he's not built like Greg Oden. Nobody is. But Durant can handle the ball like a wizard. Bring it up the court, make the great pass, and there he takes the hit. Not really much of a hit, but he gets the foul. Knocks the hoop down. Durant can't get the free throw to fall. Rebounded by Milbourne. Again, we haven't seen Oak Hill push the ball too much in this game so far. And when Ty Lawson is in there, they love to go Fantastic crossover dribble. Right for three. That is good. But see, the shot was the easy thing. <laughs> I know it's a three. The move by Taiwan Lawson set the whole deal up. Anthony right now has eight points. How about this? Vasquez, six foot five, he's playing point. Vasquez for three. That's good. Bring it up. Bring it up. He turns to the crowd and blows him a kiss. Everybody's into it. 24 21. Another three point attempt. No good. And that shot is blocked by Ben Thomas, but the putback is good. Anthony Wright got the stick back. We're getting end-to-end -end action. Look at Taiwan Lawson work defensively. Bowie passes off to Brewer for three. No, no. And keeping it inbounds is Nolan Smith. Here comes Lawson. Lawson pulls up for three. Lawson again across over this time against Golfer Trout. I don't think so. Wow, I don't think so. Sometimes you move too quick for the eye. Steve Smith, he's got, remember Mike Singletary, the Bears had the eyes? Steve Smith's got the eyes. He says, no sir, my man did not travel. I tell you what, what I like seeing most so far from Taiwan Lawson, we're going to get an offensive foul yeah. here from Durant. What I love about Taiwan Lawson is his defense, the intensity on defense. Yeah, Taiwan Lawson works at both ends of the court. We talked about how important he is for this team. The two games that he was out, that he missed this year, they were close. They were under 10 points. In one was against Chicago Simeon, who has one of the best juniors in the country, Derek Rose who's a tremendous player, and they did not have Ty Lawson in a six-point win over Simeon, who's one of the best teams in Illinois. Smith's three is no good, Durant gets a rebound. But the games that he is in, when he is in, Oak Hill is plus 33. And a fantastic fake by Eno out to Durant. His three-pointer, no good. But Durant shows me a lot. He boxed out at one end, he comes down the court, and he continues to always work. Edo's three-point attempt. Rebound. Hold down. Shot all day long. That's just, that, that, that's just another sick move. There's no other word to describe it. It's by Durant, and Durant now with 14 points. I mean, we have got talent on this court that you don't see at a high school game very often. Taiwan Lawson is absolutely just unbelievable. Jackson shot, rims out, here comes Vasquez, a three-on-one break. Vasquez no look to Durant and flushes it. Unbelievable. They were on the break beautifully. I thought Vasquez did a great job at looking off the defender and then getting the ball to Durant for the flush. It's a one-point game, 4.50 to go. Beasley, who's checked back in, kicks it out. The main man, Ty Lawson. Okay, watch the break by Montrose.
This is how you run a break. See how he looks off the defender, Ty Lawson? We watch him freeze the defender. Boom. Now he kicks. All you got to do is catch and finish, big fella. And your big guy runs, you reward him. Easily down low to the left. That's power basketball. Easily now with six points in this one. Gravis Vasquez, not afraid to uh, please the crowd. Now, Gravis Vasquez loves to play the crowd. He loves it. Guys turned away from Durant. It looked like Allen had some difficulty handling the pass. Never had a good handle. Great pass, but you got to finish. And you got to know that Durant's hand right there. There's that wingspan again. A timeout called by Montrose Christian. Durant in this ball game, seven for nine, 16 points, three rebounds, one block, and we're just about halfway through the second quarter. Unbelievable. He is everything that was advertised, as is Taiwan Lawson. I mean, there are so many great players. College coaches come into a game like this and they just salivate. They say, can I just have my pick and I'll win a national title with just what's in this gym? You could win a national title with what's in the gym. When you look at this team right now, you look at both teams. We talked about it earlier. Look at the youth on Montrose Christian versus Oak Hill. And look at that alumni list right there. I mean, that's an all-star team. Right. Anthony, Joff, Mercer, Steven Jackson, Josh Smith, Jerry Stackhouse. And they said the best guard in the history of the school, Hot Rod Strickland, who was a great player at DePaul, 16, 17 years in the NBA. Steve Smith said to me tonight, he goes, I love Rod Strickland. He was one of my favorite players. He said, he was a handful. We worked with him, and he became such a wonderful young man. He said he got to the NBA and had a great career, but he said Ty Lawson is a better player. I got a chance to speak to Coach Smith yesterday, and he said, I asked him to list his you know, top players that he's had at Oak Hill, and he said, Ty Lawson, he'll be in the NBA. No doubt about it. Oh, my God. If, there, if you could go right to the NBA, he could do it. He's going to a great program, Roy Williams in North Carolina. Lawson gets inside, draws a foul on his friend Durant, and he'll go to the line for two. That is Durant's third foul. Watch this move. I mean, it's just unbelievable how he cuts back like a running back, splits two guys, and takes it inside. And what's great about Lawson is because of the upper body strength, he can take that bump by Durant and still get a shot off. I mean, he is built something like LaDainian Tomlinson. He's got those big shoulders. Durant has to Peter go Rudman, to the bench. Who is our producer, gave me, just gave me a great name. He's built like Baron Davis. Yeah. Very similar in terms of their build, but much quicker and much headier as a lead guy. And he has that explosiveness as well. Troy Brewer waiting for his offense to develop. Vasquez for three. Rims out. And it's going to be Montrose ball. See, when you've got Kevin Durant, you really don't have to settle for a three real quick. If you get a wide open look on a kick out, you take it. But you've got to continue to try and get the ball to him. What do you do now that Durant is out of the game with three fouls? What do you do if you're Montrose? What do you do if you're Oak Hill? If I'm Montrose Christian, I'm very patient. I don't need to take a quick shot because that's what happens if you miss a long shot. Long rebounds lead to fast break baskets. A nice put back followed by You've got to take your time and be patient with Durant on the bench. You have to be patient. Bring it up, walk it up. There is no shot clock and work, work, work. Stu Vetter's a great coach. They got a great half-court game. Get yourself good looks. You can get that three 30 seconds from now. Montrose two for seven from three-point land in this ball game. No real inside presence right now for Montrose. In the corner, Brewer for three, no good. And here comes Oak Hill on the attack. We're going to have an offensive foul on Lawson, and that was a big play right there because that could have been Ito's third. Tashi Ito did a really nice job holding his ground and taking the hit. Heady play. 
you try and look for the center of the guy's chest because you can fake with a hand, fake with the eyes, the center of the chest. If your body's going one way, the chest is following. That's what you always look at. Right at that sternum, he took the hit. He really did a nice job hanging in there. Bowie loses it. Vasquez gets it back. See, Vasquez just is patient. Let's get something going inside toward the basket. Vincent going right at the big man, Beasley. Got to make those shots inside. Bowie kicks out to Beasley. That three around the rim and no good. Bodies flying on the floor. Lost a fantastic move. Wow, what a spectacular move by Ty Lawson. I mean, the crowd's up now. The crowd is giving him an ovation and saying, man, we haven't seen much like that. Watch this move. Folks, you won't see it any better in the NBA. Take the hit, flip it up. Bam. He wants this. It's tremendous. Just tremendous play. Ty Lawson has eight points to go along with three assists. And I mean, the, the way this guy changes speeds and directions is just awesome. 33-25, Oak Hill on top of Montrose. It's the biggest lead of the game right now for Oak Hill Academy, a nine-point lead, 34-25. You think Steve Smith is saying right now in the huddle, Ty, any chance you can come back and play again next year? <laughs> man, well, man. Let's look at the losses for Montrose Christian. They are a great, great game. Fairfax, California in a slowdown game. Slowdown, 38-37. And Newman Goretti, another great team out of Philadelphia, a close game. So. The two tremendous teams that they lost. When you look at Montrose Christian, they are the preseason number one in the USA Today polls. Right now, they're number 12. They played 21 games. Oak Hill Academy has played 40. How much of a difference is there? Which side would you lean towards? I mean, there's no doubt when you've played 40 games, you're going to have much better conditioning. You're going to know everybody's moves, and you're just. You're, you play 40 games and you're just going to be like a machine and when you've got as many Division One players as they have it takes a superhuman effort to beat them. Now you're in here with a obviously partial crowd to Montrose Christian. You, you, Oak Hill Academy is going to take a, a very heavy punch tonight in terms of the threat from a real champion in Montrose Christian. Is it enough to be the best team in the country? Remains to be seen. Oak Hill Academy, an 8-0 run. That's all since Kevin Durant has gone out of the game. How about Montrose? They've missed their last six shots. Ito back up at the top of the key. He's very slippery. You see Ito keep wiping the bottom of his shoes. Ito looks into the corner. Nice baseline drive by Bowie off the glass and in. That was pretty. That was pretty. Adrian Bowie, one of the top juniors in the country, and that was a sweet up and under move. 34-27, 120 to go here in the first half. You won't see anybody holding it here for one shot. Beasley gets the ball in the paint, uses by to get a shot off, and gets it off somehow off the glass to get in. He now has eight. And look at Durant watching, not being able to do anything. It's going to be an offensive wow. call on Ito. I don't know about that one. That's his third foul, so he'll have to go. I don't know about that one. That's three on Ito, which is... Tough. You're gonna have to sit him. You have to. I don't know about that foul. Both Ito and Durant, three fouls for Montrose. You know, and if you're scouting, you're sitting here watching Tasha Ito, you gotta take into consideration that the guy who he's being guarded by is one of the best point guards in the last decade. Coming up at halftime, behind the scenes with Kevin Durant. First half stats and highlights. We'll get an over-the-top foul here. One move that just went unnoticed. 
by Coach Steve Smith is that he took out Michael Beasley because Beasley has two fouls. So with under a minute to go, he doesn't want him to pick up that third foul before the half. Sure, he can pick up a cheap and he goes, I've got a nice working margin. He's nine up. Why would you have him in the game? This is a veteran coaching move. Gravis Vasquez at the line, shooting one and one. Vasquez from Venezuela. It's not going to be Vasquez shooting. There's some more veteran coaching right there by Steve Smith. Instead, it's going to be the freshman, Terrell Vincent. Vincent's free throw is good. One of the top freshmen in the country. Yesterday, speaking with Stu Vetter, he told me he's already gotten calls from D1 college coaches offering him a full ride. He's a freshman. Actually, it's an interesting story. The coaches are getting this trend now of going younger in terms of getting recruits as they get Smith on a walk. DePaul's coach, Jerry Wainwright, took a normal commitment from a kid named Cully Payne last summer when he completed the eighth grade. <laughs> but we've seen so many times players commit orally and then go back on their work. Now, you could bring Durant in here for the last 30 seconds, but I guess Stu Vetter, veteran guy who's seen it all, says, no, my guy's aggressive. I don't want to get a foul on an offensive rebound over the top. Vincent down low. His shot is blocked. Albert Jackson gets back for that one. Here comes Oak Hill pushing it up. Got to be tough. You got to get a head and shoulder fake and power it up. You can't be timid around the 10 here because you're going up against guys that can block shots. You got to take it at them. Here's Lawson trying to get a shot off before the buzzer. Kicks it out to Smith for three. It's good. That's how we're going to end the half. With an 11 point game that will not count. They just made a 70 footer, but it will not count. 39 28, Oak Hill Academy on top of Montrose Christian. We are at the end of the first half. We'll be back right after this. Thirty-nine, twenty-eight, top seed Oak Hill leads Montrose Christian at the half. The story of the first half, Kevin Durant, 16 points but three fouls. We've got more on him coming up right now. Quick, quick, quick. A guy like Kevin Durant comes along uh, very rarely. I mean, he's one of the top players that I've ever coached. And uh, the one thing about Kevin is his tremendous versatility. He has the ability to play all five positions on the floor and play them well. And I think this year he's grown defensively. He's a much better defender than when he started the season. But again, he's a type of player that has uh, uh, certainly made us a better basketball team and certainly one of the elite players in the country. I like to compare myself to a Chase McGrady type. I watch him almost every night he's on, on TV, so I try to pattern my game after that. I steal his moves from him, things like that. Uh, I transfer mostly because of my academics and uh, me wanting to be close to my parents before I go to college. Kevin has had to make some, uh, some adjustments coming to Montrose. He's done a, uh, a great job. Okay, Kevin doesn't set the back screen, we set the down screen. Okay. Coach Vettis has taught me the basics about basketball, the fundamentals. Uh, my grades have, have got up pretty much. And I got 3.0 so far, so it's been a good transition. He's had to learn how to adjust to a, a, a regimented schedule. I wasn't used to what Coach Vetter was getting, was giving to his kids, like uh, wearing other suits and how disciplined it was. But I mean, towards the, the middle of the season, kind of, I kind of got the, the idea of what he wanted me to do in practice, off the court. I mean, no matter where we are, he kind of like guides me and tells me what I need to do. So, I mean, it's been, it's been pretty good this year. I'm glad I came. Oh my God. Coming to Montrose, he's really done everything that he could do to become successful. And that will certainly carry over uh, to the University of Texas, where Rick Barnes will make sure that he's doing what he's supposed to do. The best part is really uh, on the trips and things like that, getting to know my teammates better, hanging with them guys. Uh, this is one of the funniest guys I've ever been around. So uh, I think really this is going to be my last, my last year really to like fool around things like that, because I mean it's going to be business from here on out. So. Uh, yeah, just like playing with them guys and on the trips and things like that has been real fun. I want to see if you can really put out. Put on the line, Kevin. 
Ready? I think I'm going to be a mostly outside type player in college uh, because of my strip. Go hard now, go hard! But I mean, I think I can take smaller players in the post and, and, and do my work there, but most of them play the perimeter. Kevin Durant is certainly not a one-man team, but he's done a great job of blending into a team. Not many guys could do that. Montrose on three. One, two, three. Montrose! Oak Hill has outscored Montrose 11 to 3 since Durant's third foul. He's not a one man team, but he's done a lot for his team in the first half, scoring 16 of their first 25 points. We'll be back with first half highlights after this. Thirty nine twenty eight as we get set to start the third quarter Oak Hill over Montrose Christian Kevin Durant he had three fouls in the first half he scored 16 of his team's first 25 points well here's what they've got to do first of all you got to keep Kevin Durant out of foul trouble and when you penetrate inside you've got to find open shooters that's the open look I'm talking about through the post best way to an open look is through the post and then get Kevin Durant the basketball let him operate and Taiwan lost has been bothered his right eye got poked and he's been icing it but he's back there gutty tough kid and says he's ready to roll loss of nine points in the first half inside to Beasley his shot is blocked he gets it back and he gets that one to fall 41-28 Oak Hill leads Montrose. Michael Beasley, one of the top five players in America next year. A nice finish right there by Adrian Bowie, the secondary break that coach Stu Vetter loves. Another highly rated junior who will be recruited by everybody. Beasley with a good move, got a pretty clean look at it, but was unable to knock it down, and here comes Montrose Christian. Bowie has Durant, leads the form, gets bumped, finishes, and he'll go to the line for one. That's the kind of start they needed. They needed to get a good start. Let's take a look at the stats, Justin. From the first half, look at the field goal percentage for Oak Hill. Almost 52%. Yep. Against some very good defenders. Three-point field goals, four of eight. Free throws really a bit of a factor, seven to two. Rebounds, of course, you would be surprised if Oak Hill didn't have the lead with the number of big bodies they throw at you. Durant makes the free throw. He has 19 in this ball game. Now I know Coach Stu Vetter, he says this is not a one-man team. However, it seems like it's been a one-man team so far today. Smith for three. That one hits the back rim. And it's going to remain Oak Hill ball. See, they have got to come up with that loose ball as you look at our, the leading scorers. No shock, as you said, a one-man wrecking crew today with Durant with 19 points. Ty Lawson will inbound it. Just over a minute into this third quarter. Lawson's three-point attempt. That is good. Bring it up. That's how you answer a score with a score. You bury a three from your best player. Bowie kicks out to Vasquez for three. Good. And he answers it right back. You got a real old kill in. You can't let him get a 15-point working margin or you're really in major, major trouble. Got to reel him in and keep within arm's length. Nice defense right there by Kevin Durant. Oak Hill's leading scorers. 
Wright and Lawson both with 12, and Beasley with eight. Beasley does have two fouls, though. There is Beasley, gets his man up in the air, drives. Oh, we're going to have an offensive that's foul. Three. That's number three. Tasha Ito, he's taking a beating. Now watch him take the hit. Really does a nice job, shows you a lot of toughness. He sees it, he reads it, he takes the hit. Tough, tough kid. I'd recruit Ito in a heartbeat if I was still coaching. That kid knows how to play the game. Bowie drives in the lane, loses the ball. Gets it back and he gets bumped. Almost a bailout right there by Oak Hill. The foul will be on Landon Milbourne. Landon Milbourne is headed to Maryland. Top 50 player in the country. He'll be a teammate of Vasquez next season. Be a good dynamic duo for Coach Gary Williams. There is Vasquez. Down low to Durant. 19 points. That shot is short. Here comes Lawson. Watch out. Lawson going right at Ito. He gets the ball. It's just amazing his body control with that quickness. Talking about quickness. Bowie not too slow right there. I mean, tremendous speed, but Lawson scored on a layup at one end, and look how fast he is getting back down the court. This is just tremendous quickness. Here he's going to score. Watch him hit that second gear, gets it in there, and then he's gone the other way and comes right back down and defends. Lawson in the lane, misses, gets his own rebound, wraps some trees. Jump ball. We're going to have a jump ball. 46-36, Oak Hill on top, and... Again, we have to go back to the significance of this game for Oak Hill. 40 and 0, a national championship on the line. Right. Every step of the way now, you're going to be challenged to try and see if you can complete the mythical USA Today national championship with an undefeated record. How much meaning does that have, as you say, a mythical USA Today national championship? Oh, I think championship? it has a lot. I think the kids know that you know, that's the probably the top national poll. Sports Illustrated is another great one. And they wanted to have a chance to say, we were the best in the country. Beasley strips Durant. Setting up down low. Melbourne misses, fumbles the ball. Vasquez for three from a corner. Cut. <laughs> with another good feed. Vasquez got his feet set. Great shooters have their feet set, shoulders over their toes. They catch it, it's gone before the defender could fly at him. That's the third three-pointer for Vasquez. He's got 11. Beasley down low. His turnaround jumper is sweet with the left hand. Is he tough? He doesn't look like a high school junior, does he? He does not. Those big, big arms and shoulders. Vasquez looking down low to Durant. Can't handle the pass. Up Jeff Allen got a hand in there. Durant's out of sorts a bit right now. I don't think Beasley's going to shoot a three. Tries to use the glass from the opposite side. The rebound again to Durant. Using that wingspan to his advantage. See, Durant's not catching it where he can do anything with it. They're going to get Beasley, I think. Let's see who they give to. They get Lawson. That's Lawson's second foul. And a substitution for Matros. Kevin Durant's a wonderful talent. A wonderful talent. But the best player in America is Greg Oden, and it, it's not close. I have not seen a guy as dominant as Greg Oden in a long, long time. Beautiful fake by Pui. Uses the body to shield off his defender. Puts it up in it. And with Beasley concerned about his foul situation, he didn't go aggressively to block it. Used the left hand and laid it in. It's a seven-point game. Nice spin. In the lane by Smith. He loses it out of bounds. It's going to be Montrose ball. And right now a chance for Montrose to cut this lead to four. Home run ball gets you to within four. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to reel them in when you've got opportunities. Lawson pounding Ito. Yeah, that's the one difference with the speed factor. Ito can't get anything going north and south. Everything's east and west. Bowie could have been called for a travel right there as he put the ball up and took it back himself. 
Durant gets Smith and walks out. A breakaway for Lawson. That's a Ty can fly. 16 points now for Lawson. He's listed at six feet. They say he's about 5'11 and a half. And he can elevate. That's going to be the fourth foul on Beasley. A nice head fake by Vasquez. Watch Lawson. Get the hand in here. There comes Durant. There goes the hand. Bye-bye. And he is gone, and he says, no, I'm keeping this one. It's your time. I mean, that is just a great play, and then he just finishes. But the great play wasn't the dunk. He's a great athlete. He can do that all day long. The great play was taking on Kevin Durant and stripping him. He said, sorry, buddy. I know we're friends, but this one's mine. First free throw for Vasquez is good. And more importantly right now is that Beasley has to go to the bench with four fouls. Look at the number of dunks. Michael Beasley's flushed 82 basketballs this year. That's just amazing. What's more amazing is that they keep that stat. People love the dunk. Beasley goes in uncontested. He lost 18. I'm sorry, Lawson. And he answers, and he needs to start to assert himself offensively. Assert himself, he's now got a 21. He's the last need four or five minutes, you haven't heard a lot from him offensively. He is going to have to do what it takes to strap this team on his back. Melbourne on the wing, looking down low. So it goes up top, to right. Here comes Durant in the break, pulling up from three, six foot ten inches, and he pulls up from three. A breakaway for Oak Hill. Oh, that one is thrown down by Nolan Smith. But see, that's how quick it changes. If Durant knocks down the three, it's 52-47. Instead, a ten-point game like that. We should add one more to that dunk total. Right. Another one goes on the board. A 10-point lead for Oak Hill, and again, a nice trip by Lawson, beating everyone down the floor. Reverse slam is good. Look at the speed. That's amazing. Wow. 20 points now for Lawson, 11 this quarter, and Montrose has to call a timeout as they now trail 56-44. to 44. I, I have not seen quickness like that in a long, long time. Durant misses, didn't follow his shot, poor fundamental play, and Nolan Smith finishes at the other end with authority. And there's no white jersey around to stop him. you got to follow your shot. Kevin Durant did that in the first, well, first half and got the tip dunk. You've got to follow your shot. I have to throw this out at you right now. We see this game right now, 56-44. Kevin Durant has 21 points. He played for Oak Hill last year. How good would this team be right now if Durant were still with Oak Hill? I mean, you can't do much better than 40 and 0. I mean, they're the best team in America. I've seen Lawrence North, who I think is a great team as well. That would be one heck of a game. But Kevin Durant, Ty Lawson together, boy, that would be illegal. Ty Lawson, look at those career stats right there. 19 and 7, 18 and 9, 23 and 9. I mean, just unbelievable numbers. I guarantee you, Roy Waver is sitting at home watching this game going, and he's all mine, baby. He's coming to Carolina country. Ty Lawson, five field goals in this quarter. Three of them have been basically on a one man break. Vincent up top to the star, Durant. Bowie, who's been solid, gets bumped. Lawson. And that could be on Lawson. That's his third. Yep, they'll get Lawson on a bump outside. A minute 12 to go here in the quarter. Do you take Lawson out to avoid him getting his fourth? Mm, you're up a dozen? No. Senior player, I think he's sharp enough. He understands. Steve Smith's going to say, Ty, this game is not in hand. They're not 25 up like they see in so many of their games where they blow people off the floor. They're getting a great challenge from a really well-coached Montrose Christian team who's very talented. 
Vasquez in the corner. A zone defense right now by Oak Hill. Flushed by Durant. That, you attack the basket, you send the pick out of the rim, and he finishes. Excellent pass. 23 now for Durant. The assist to Vincent, the freshman. 6.46, Boston's three is good. He's talking as he goes down the floor. Yeah, he let Bowie have it. You can't guard me. Bowie goes right back to the rim and he's in the up foul. Let's see who they get on this one. It might be Landon Milborn. That's who they will get. Landon Milborn second. And at the line, Adrian Bowie. Lawrence North, who is a very talented team and has appeared a lot on in HD. Lawrence North is a great basketball team. With, we've talked a lot about Greg Oden. They don't have the depth that Oak Hill has. It'd be a great matchup to see Greg Oden against these guys. Do many Mike college Conley. teams have the depth that this team has? No, not many. I mean, I really believe if Steve Smith took this team right here and added Kevin Durant to it, he could contend for a top 10 ranking over the next four years if he had all these guys. He'd have a pro point guard, he'd have a pro small forward in Durant, a pro power forward possibly in Beasley, a bunch of other really, really fabulous players. 11 point lead for Oak Hill, 15 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Force it out of Lawson's hands. And he's going to get fouled. It's going to be on the freshman, Vincent. Say what Gravis Vasquez likes to talk. He loves to run his mouth talking at Ty Lawson. Well, they'll get a chance to talk next year in the ACC. Seven seconds to go. Lawson pulls up with 24. No good to tip. Is missed right before the buzzer by Anthony Wright. We have finished three quarters of play here in our nation's capital. And guess what, folks? The number one team in the country, Oak Hill, they lead 59-48. Ty Lawson, 14 points in the quarter. Fifty-nine, forty-eight. Oak Hill on top of Montrose Christian. They are just eight minutes away from completing an undefeated record. And how about Ty Lawson in the third quarter? Well, Taiwan Lawson, as we've talked about all night, the best guard in America, and it's not even close. I've seen a lot of the great ones, and there are some good players. They're not in this kid's league. His quickness, his upper body strength, his unselfishness, and his ability when he has to to take the game over. There are nobody, there is nobody in the country like this young man. They are going to love him in Carolina Blue. Lawson has just about matched his season average with 23 points. And you mentioned before Greg Oden is the best high school player you've seen in a long time. Where do you rank Taiwan Lawson as far as guards? He's as good as I've seen in terms of understanding the game, having ridiculous quickness to go with it and knowing how to play the game in terms of his upper body strength. Get, being able to get physical without being overly aggressive. He's a tremendous player. Greg Oden's in a different stratosphere. 7'1", 250, a wonderful player, a great kid. They don't come along very often. Fantastic move by Lawson to get away from his defender. And the putback by Milborn eventually is put in. See, that's where Oak Hill just wears you down. They just send Guy after guy to the rim. 
Oak Hill on top of Montrose. You watch how strong he is when he plays the game. Just keep going and going like the Energizer Bunny. He never gets tired. Smith the tip. He's on the break. Goes into the basket. It's no good. The follow attempt is lost by Milborn. Here comes Bowie right back at them. No basket. We got a traveling violation. And Adrian Bowie says, what? I think his feet slipped. And again, this court is very slippery. I thought you were going to say you were impressed with my lip reading abilities. <laughs> that was good. Lawson again trying to break down his defender. And Vasquez gets called for the foul. And he puts it right back into Ty Lawson. And I tell you what, this kid Vasquez loves to talk as we've gone on. Look at our nation's top seniors. I've seen every one of these kids play, called their games. As I said already, Odin's the best, and it's not close. Durant, Wright, Thaddeus Young, tremendous talents. And then Ty Lawson is right there. A lot of trash talking going on right now. Lawson and Vasquez. Lawson Vasquez, saying, it's not me. Vasquez is a wonderful talent. He's going to be a real good player. He needs to not worry so much about running his mouth. I could play not agree more. Just play the game. Lawson gets on the but gets fouled. Oh, the crowd jumps out of their seats on that one. Six feet, folks. And it goes up like that. Like a rocket ship. Watch him blast off as he gets in the paint. I mean, just amazing athletic ability. There's the screen from Jeff Allen. He rises up and nearly finishes, but gets fouled. You saw what the crowd did. When he missed it, can you imagine what they would have done had he made it? They'd have blown the roof off this place. The people sitting courtside were already on the floor. And I'll tell you, that guy we just showed right there, Jeff Allen, who's committed to Virginia Tech, number 20, a glue guy. And you've got to have glue guys in your program. When I say glue guys, guys that do all the tough work. They set the hard screen. They defend. Let's go to the slam cam. Take a look at this, Justin. I mean, this is Ty Lawson from the slam cam. Rises up. It's a little guy. Lawson now with 24 points. He's got five rebounds, four assists, three steals. The stat sheet stuffer. This kid with a rebound. He'll try to push it up. Good ball handling skills for a guy. Six five. Vincent gets fouled hard. Anthony Wright delivers the blow. And this game, all of a sudden, has taken on a different level of intensity. It has. I think that Montrose Christian sees it slipping away a bit. 14 down, under seven minutes. And it's not that they're not an excellent team with a tremendous coach in Stu Vetter. They're just running into a team that's just deeper, more talented, another great coach. Oak Hill Academy's the best team in America. The freshman Vincent misses his first. Again, one of the top freshmen in this country. This is both. Lawson slowing it down just a bit. 62 48, 6 30 to go here in the game. Down low, nice dish. And it's going to be a foul. Durant. On Durant. That should be four. That is, in fact, Durant's fourth foul. And that's big, because Durant has 23 of his 48 Watch points. Watch the pick that frees him, though. See, these are the little things that don't show up in the box score. The back pick. Watch the back pick on the left side. They screen Durant. He's late getting there. And that commit, there, there he commits the foul, but that set the whole thing up. A good, solid screen. Beasley has re-entered the game, replacing Landon Milbourne. You know, over the last 20 years, Kids play organized, structured basketball 100% more than we did when I was a kid. I'm 45. Kids, when I was going to school, football in the fall, basketball in the winter, baseball or track and field in the spring. In the summer, you hung out with your buddies. Now, it's fall AAU, high school team, spring AAU, summer, you're on the camp circuit, the AAU circuit. It's totally different and fundamental plays worse. This hits yet another three. 
That is his fourth three-pointer in this ballgame. Why is it that fundamental play has gone down noticeably? Coach Mike Krzyzewski, one of the best, said he thinks it's gone down dramatically. I think it's because people are so worried about the highlight real play, they don't make the smart play. This three-point attempt, no good. Montrose trying to close the gap quickly, trailing 13. Here with 5.40 to go. A, a nice fake by Bowie. Almost has it stripped. Bowie gets it back, goes to the lane, goes up and in. He didn't want to pick up a foul, so he goes right past him and he really gets no resistance. It's 12 points for Bowie. It's good heads up basketball by Bowie as well, knowing that beat is four. A timeout here for Oak Hill Academy. 64-53, Oak Hill leads Montrose. The final game of the season for the Oak Hill Academy Warriors, trying to win the national championship back after this. Sixty-four, fifty-three. Oak Hill on top of Montrose. Five sixteen to go here in the fourth quarter. Coach Steve Smith just called a timeout. Wants to get his troops back in order, and this is what he's done over his career. I mean, look at those numbers: six forty-four and thirty-eight. That's obscene. Look at that winning percentage: nine forty-four. Six national titles, over twenty NBA players, and he gets a lot of guys who, when they get to him. They need guidance, direction, discipline, and organization in their life. He provides that structure, and he really helps them develop and get to the next level. He's a wonderful coach. Durant is back in the game. He's got four. Beasley's in there as well with four. He goes up, tries to flush it, and he can't. Bowie pushing it up. He goes right to the rim again with the left hand. This gets tough. Adrian Bowie. He's got a brother, Darren, on the team as well, but Adrian, wow. 14 points now for Bowie. 64-55, back within 10 points. And there's 4.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Beasley posting up, calling for it, doesn't get it. Allen's baseline jumper, no good. Beasley this time, he does get the flush. Finishes with the left hand with authority. Nobody in his way. And he rips the rim down. That stops a 7-0 Montrose run. That's 66 to 55. Durant, look at that ball handling. All the way to the hoop and a timeout for Montrose. That's a guy six foot ten. See, he's got to make sure he boxes up. He doesn't want to pick up that fifth foul. There's the miss. And there's no box out there. Ben Thomas, who's committed to James Madison, number 15, got to box somebody off the boards. We talked about that in the keys to the game. 66-57, Beasley 12 points, four rebounds. Kevin Durant, 25 points in this game. He's got four fouls. When you look at the final four minutes, what do you see the key for Matros getting back in it? Well, they're going to have to check off on the glass. Got to be one and done. They're going to have to force some turnovers. And when they come down, they have to maximize their possession. You can't take two minutes to run a shot, obviously. We haven't seen that in this game. But they have to get good looks. Take it to the post, kick it out, or find your man Durant. Speaking of Durant, we mentioned he has 25 points in 24 minutes. 
Vasquez almost steals the inbounds pass. Vasquez plays hard. He really works at it. I just wish he would stop talking so much. A long outlet pass to Anthony Wright. Saves it to Beasley. Lance goes up. Elevates and finishes. Boy, they just they have a way with their athleticism to bail themselves out of most situations. Beasley with 14. He averages 19 on the season. Durant slipped on that slippery floor. Here is Durant with a ball. Picked up by Smith. Pulls up for three. Good from way downtown. Way downtown. 28 points and Vasquez with a steal. About. Durant again with a three gets bumped. He'll go to the line for three shots. And this foul will be on Lawson, and that is his fourth. Game's not over yet. Eight point game and going to the line. How many guys 6'10 can shoot the ball like this? Look where he knocks this down from. That's an NBA three. Bam. Prior to the game and shoot around, I was watching some of these guys obviously dunk and you're amazed. Well, what was even more impressive was these guys were taking shots from just about half court and they were jump shots. It's amazing what the, how the game has changed in terms of athleticism and strength. He gets three free throws here on a foul three point attempt, nearly got it to go, just a bit short. This could cut it to six with just under 320. One more to get it to five. No quit, Montrose Christian. You look at foul trouble, Durant has four for Montrose. For Oak Hill, Beasley and Lawson both have four. It's a five-point game with 319 to go. Durant, Kevin Durant, 40 seconds. Well, let me just put that in perspective. It's an unbelievable thing to do. There's a young man in Chicago headed to Duke named John Shire. 21 points in 75 seconds. <laughs> Here is Lawson going right and to the one. hoop and he finishes. And one. And Lawson coming up a bit lame on that left leg. Gotta stop the ball. You have to find him immediately. Somebody's gotta help Tashi Ito. He's already beaten there, and nobody rotates over and picks him up. Lawson really does look a bit shaken up right now. Reaching down the left shin. Coach Steve Smith looking on with those eyes. Lawson's free throw is no good. Vasquez gets the rebound. Seven-point game. It's going to be tipped out of bounds by Beasley, and that's close because that could have been Beasley's fifth foul if he decided to call a foul. Playing hard. When you play not to lose is when you get beat. He's just going all out. You just have to play smart. He's done that in situations around the rim where he doesn't want to pick up a cheeky. You know Adrian Bowie likes to go to his left. He's got the baseline right there. Nice bounce pass to Rand up top, goes in, he gets tripped. Vasquez recovers. 2.45 to go. Vasquez drives the lane, he can't make the shot, gets his own rebound, puts it back in, and it's a five-point ball game. Well, we said this game has been an Olympic triple jump there on the bench. He is excited. His kids have not quit. A spin dribble pass off, and goes off the backboard. A fantastic look by Ty Lawson. Whenever they need him to step up, he does. Eno for three from the corner. That is good. Lay it up. 72, 68. And those are the first three points of this game for Eno, who has been in foul trouble all game long. Watch Vesquez as he gets his penetration here. He's going to get into the paint. There's Lawson, and he keeps Ito's open. Tells you a lot about Ito's heart. Not afraid to take the big shot with the game on the line. Vasquez to the paint. Ito knocks the triple down. 2.09 to go here in the 
the fourth quarter. Again, a national championship on the line for top-ranked Oak Hill Academy. Not Montrose on an 18-8 run. This has just been phenomenal. There's Vasquez, and he just stays with it. And just pounds the glass. Flexes his muscles. I think he may put on some more muscles at Maryland. He needs a little bit more to play at Maryland. Ravis Vasquez, 17 points, three assists. And not to mention, maybe getting in the head of some of the Oak Hill players. Jeff Allen will inbound the ball for Oak Hill. A full court press applied by Montrose. The ball is thrown out of bounds by Allen. And these Montrose fans are now on their feet, making some noise. Could we see number one go down? This would be a huge upset. It's that time of the year, isn't it? Six minutes left, it's a 16 point game. 2.09 left, four point game, and Montrose has the ball. Timeout called by Ito, just about a that, five second timeouts, call. Though. Out of timeouts, which is a problem with the athleticism that Oak Hill throws at you to deny in the passing to get the ball in. What does that mean right now? 2.09 to go, you're down by four. You use your last timeout. You almost had a five second violation. What's more important, your last timeout or the violation? Well, you take the timeout. You can't give the ball back four down and they know down at the other end to get a three point play or get a bucket and all of a sudden you're six or seven down. No, that was the right call. You, you, it's not in your mind at that point, uh, I'll take the five second ball. You just take the timeout and you worry about it later. And of course, Ito, as we mentioned, a three-year starter for coach Stu Verrett, and he says the reason why he's playing point guard and not Gravis Vasquez is because he is such a good floor leader, and there he is using his basketball IQ. Right, Stu Vetter, a long-time coach, has won over 700 games. He has been in this situation so many times, just like Steve Smith. There's Steve Smith in the huddle with his guys, saying, guys, we were 16 up, we're okay, and a four-point lead. Vetter's asking his guys, do you believe we can do this? If you believe it, you can get it done. There is Gravis Vasquez. They were selling shirts as we entered the arena saying, one to remember. Well, it's turned into one to remember. No question, we've had a great game. Ito has the ball top of the key. Gives it off to Bowie, who has had a fantastic game. He drives inside, goes right at Beeston, goes off the glass again, and now it's a two-point game. 72-70, under two minutes to go. Oak Hill hasn't been in this position in a long time. It's in the hands of their point guard, Ty Lawson. We saw what he could do before. Let's see what he does now in crunch time. There's Phil Ford. Remember the great North Carolina guard, Taiwan Lawson. He's headed to North Carolina. Run the offense, but if Vasquez isn't going to come out on him, he's not going to force the issue. There's no shot clock here in high school basketball. They can run the clock all the way down. 120 to go, a two-point game. Vasquez now putting some pressure on him. You had a four-quarters offense at North Carolina when there was no shot clock. Smith goes to the hoop. Here comes Montrose. in here thought the game was over. Watch the block and watch the flush at the other end. There's a great pass and there's the block. Outstanding play by Durant and he kicks it and they get Bowie at the other end to finish it. Tie game 72-72. You want a run right now for Montrose? 
in the last 504, they've outscored Oak Hill 24 to 8. Talk about closing the gap. I mean, right now, Montrose really has nothing to lose, and Oak Hill has everything to lose. Montrose, the 12th ranked team in the country, according to USA Today, Chris Lawler. Oak Hill, number one, undefeated. We look at our game reset. Timeouts left. Oak Hill has one. Montrose, none. Oak Hill, nine team fouls. Montrose, five. Possession arrow for Montrose. 55 seconds. Here we go. Uh, you've got the maestro with the basketball. They don't get any better at conducting the offense than this guy. Vasquez saying this is going to be one that we'll remember, and we'll do it again next year on the ACC. They're lost down for a final shot. Nobody in the country had rather have the ball in his hands than Taiwan lost. Well, the ball now in the hands of Nolan Smith. And the ball is tipped because it's tipped. No back court. And now we have it over the back. No question. I thought Taiwan Lawson was over and back when he stepped on the lock. Kevin Durant, just right in front of us, just came over in front of our table, turned to Vasquez. He said, get me the basketball. Let's see if the All-American can deliver up the biggest upset in the high school season in the country this year. 15 seconds, tie game, fans on their feet. Ito, thumbs up. Durant in the high post, top of the key. Being guarded by Jeff Allen. Pulls up from three. No good. Rebound. Bowie, his shot. Welcome back to the Frank R. Williams Activity Center. An unbelievable game, an unbelievable finish here today. Guess what, folks? Oak Hill has one loss this season, thanks to Montrose Christian. And David Kaplan now has our two stars of the game, Adrian Bowie and Kevin Durant. Thanks, Justin. I am with Adrian Bowie and Kevin Durant. And guys, I think many people in this gym wrote you off 16 down with six minutes to go. And you came back, an unbelievable finish. We'll start with you, KD. Well, tell me about the comeback. Uh, we just wanted to keep playing hard. We was down. We, after the huddle, we told him we just wanted to play hard. Adrian got the rebound. I'm glad they're winning. We're number one. Now, let me ask you, Adrian, the last play. He said he came right over here and said, get me the basketball. He misses the shot, and you are there on the stick back. Take us through it right here on the monitor. Okay, he ran the play up for Kevin because he's been hot. He's been hot. 
So I said this, he set the screen. Kevin took the shot. I boxed out Anthony Wright. Got the rebound. I looked up and said, two seconds. Put it up. Game over. Now, you guys just took down a team 40 and 0. That's got to be one of the great moments of your basketball life. It was a great game. I'm glad we won. I just want to give my teammates to celebrate this win. Adrian, before we let you go, taking down Oak Hill, what does it mean? Biggest win. That's what we used to Oak Hill, number one in the nation. If they win, they win the national championship. They lost, the biggest win for us. Well, congratulations to both you guys. Let's go back courtside to my partner, Justin. All right, thanks a lot, David. Fantastic job. Those two kids right there, Adrian Bowie, Kevin Durant, absolutely unbelievable. Adrian Bowie scores the final six points of this ball game for the Montrose Christian. And I tell you what, it was just so much fun to see this team. Kevin Durant, 31, Bowie with 20. Our final score, Montrose Christian, 74, Oak Hill Academy, 72 for David Kaplan and our entire Giant Productions crew. I'm Justin Kutcher, so long from Washington, D.C. Thanks for watching The A-List. Thank you.